Hello everyone. Assalamualaikum. Here we'll take a look how to use provider scopes overrides property. First, take a look at this. Over here we have a provider, and this is Riverpod provider, as you can see that. And this provider actually returns an integer, and the default value that we return is zero. Now, in our app, in our dummy app over here, as we click on this, we want to generate a new index and return it. So which also means that we want the default value of this provider should change. And how to do that? Now for this one over here, we are returning provider scope because provider scope has this overrides properly. Now we are inside this list view builder, list view builder, and it generates item and we show them on the screen. And it means that it loops through them. It goes like in a for loop and as it does, every time it goes through the for loop, we override the earlier value. And how we do that? Over here, we say that index provider dot overrides with. Now, this provider has this property which is called overrides with, and we assign a new value, new index. We know that our index is integer, and our index provider can only return an integer as well. So over here, we get this index and we override the earlier one. So thus, you change the index provider value. Now you can ask why you don't change directly. We know that a provider like this, you can't change the value out of this provider. You can only do it inside. But if we wanna change the value outside of this provider, then over here, one of the methods we can use is using this provider scope overrides with. And with this, this kind of provider, you can change the value out of this provider. Now over here, each time we go through the loop, we get a new value. And this new value, we can access it from somewhere else. Over here, we're gonna access it from here, from this list item. Now this is our list item. Actually inside this build method, we grab the new index, remember, in each loop, it generates a new item, new index, and that's being returned. Now, at the same time, as it goes through loop, the list item also has assigned string, okay? So that also means that this index and the item over here being generated, they're synchronous. So whatever is there for that one will have a certain item, or for the certain item will have an index like that. So that index we can access over here. Now we can also print that one, that the new item. Now inside this, the new index would be available and then I can click on this and we'll see that we find the corresponding index. So let's go ahead and restart our app. Now I'm going to click on this Julio over here and here we see that index is zero. So the first item, actually we get the first index and which is beautiful. Now over here, Marcus, index should be four, and that's what we see over here, that index is four. Now this one index should be two, so we see index two over here. Now yeah, so with this uh, provider scope and overrides property, you can actually overwrite your provider's value and use them as you need that. Thank you.